Hello there and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm making something pretty special. I'm gonna try to make it nice. Yeah, you've probably yeah, you know what it's gonna be, judging by the thumbnail, but stay tuned anyway, because it's pretty cool. Yeah. Stay tuned. Okay. And that's what uh the point of this video is going to be. I'm going to be trying to make this glide bait. Glide, yeah, glide bait and Swim bait, whatever you want to call it. That's where the joint is going to be. You want the weight closer to the joint. Uh, don't ask me why, because I don't have that great of an explanation. This is going to have a tail fin. I'm just going to make it out of something else. And I'm going to start carving this out. Yeah, I'm just going to use a carving knife, not, not the coping saw. For no real reason besides it's neater to do it this way, so starting with that okay and I just carve this normal chopping well that's what I call this technique anyway I call it chopping got that fully cut out and now I'm going to take a file in the vise and even out all the edges and yeah Drawing out a top profile, so start drawing. There's that. Time to cut it out. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to sand it. pretty quick um, now I am rounding the bait off and really what you want to see are 90 degree angles it, want, it needs to be square if it's like wider anywhere than the other side then you need to worry but right now it's pretty even so yeah to round it off you just take a knife and carve down to the corner onto the corners I should say like so
so now I just need to sand those sharp edges and it'll be rounded off. And honestly, that's pretty self-explanatory, so... And uh, um, this is a step I was actually supposed to do earlier. Um, I'm cutting the joint for this right now, and I just have these pieces of wood that I cut at an angle. And uh, it's supposed to be the correct angle. But honestly, I didn't really measure. So then you clamp the saw, and you start sawing, and then you get that angle. So there that is, and when it's time, I can just join those. We'll finish the cut and um now I think hmm what should I do next oh I should cut the slot for I should cut out the tail fin and the slot for the tail fin right now okay Okay, well, I drew up my fin, and now I'm cutting it out. Okay. And there, that is cut out. I'm going to glue that in, and then I'm going to work on the lure part. I think I'm going to carve out the gills, and then I'm going to weigh it and put line ties and hook hangers in. And then seal it, seal the wood, I mean, make the joint connections, cut the joint fully, I guess, and paint. Very simple. Okay. So I'm going to glue this in right now. Now for the gills, um, you just find where you want them to be and you draw it out. Like that, but I would do that on the other side, and then I'll show you a utility do. knife. And I'm going to score all the lines that I just carved, like so. So now you are tracing. Not tracing, you are carving along this line. Just a little bit though. Something like that. And yeah, so you just do that to the other side and you're done. Uh, well, Finish we'll the gills, and it's completely normal for one side to come out way cleaner than the other. But right now, I have this little file, and uh, these are perfect for gills, because you can just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but they work well, so... Yep. I draw out the line tie and hook hangers. So the line tie is just going to be right on the nose, and I just use like a nail or something to poke it out to guide the drill bit. And I use a 16th inch drill bit. They tend to fit with the wire that I use. Okay, I'll probably have one right there. Okay, here I go drilling. 
out these holes. And now it's time to make the line ties and hook hangers. Well, line tie and hook hangers. Oh, and the joint connections. Now, what I've done is I've taken some wire like this, and I've chucked it up in this drill. And over here, I have a little metal thingy merbob in a vise. And you put that over there and twist it up. Pop it out. And you have that and you just gotta make quite a few of those so I'll do that and then I'll show you separately how to make the specific connectors. To make the connection bit I have a smaller, it's just a little nail and I'm gonna do what I did with uh, the other part pop it out now you have that and then you loop another wire onto that. Put this in your drill like that. And you put this here and twist it up. So like this. Like and then there's your connection. Then you take it out and you have to make another one for the other side. But, okay, so yeah. I got all these made. Now I'm going to finish cutting the joint and drill the holes for these to go in. Okay. Oh. Well, it's done already. Okay. So there's that that actually came, that actually came out pretty clean. So now what you have to do is so when once you make the joints it's going to come out about that, but it's still not moving too much. So you have to sand this edge down, being careful not to touch this cuz you don't want to change this angle right there. So you just sand this down a whole bunch, you could file it or whatever, but it'll just give it a lot more wiggle room. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Right here. See, now that I'm done, it's got a lot more wiggle room. And then once you set them apart, it can really, it can really move. So, yeah, it's coming out pretty good. I need to drill the holes in here, which I won't show. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the with all these loose they put into it. And then I have to work on the weight, weighing it. Yeah. See so you now it can move a lot more so it can really, you know, swim. Yep. And now I need to work on the weight placement. And so what I normally do is I have just these little sinkers and I just carve out a hole holes wherever I want them but for this I got some bigger ones non lead because I don't like lead nobody should nobody should use lead anyway this is gonna sit here I don't think I can make this sink that'd be a lot but I'm gonna put one of these big ones here one of these big ones here and I'm gonna get uh, probably two of these other places just to sit make it sit as low and upright in the water as I can and maybe when I pull it it'll go down a little or something so yeah I'm gonna carve those out and show you that right now okay, so I've got it in uh, the vise with a glove so it didn't scratch it and I'm taking just this little chisel here You can see what I'm doing pretty much. I'm just carving out a little cavity. Maybe not that little, but.
Ah, it's not going too well. I need to pinch it tighter. So I carved that out and stuffed that in there so it's flush. And I'm not going to show you the other half because you don't need to see that. That's the same, st same thing as this. I just literally oops, hammered it in there. Like, and it worked. So I'm going to cover that up with super glue and baking soda, which I will show you right now. If I can find my little tool. Oh, there it is. Cool how it's like see through looks like I put gold in there. Maybe I did. Okay. And then I have to sand that smooth and do it to the other side. And I need to also make a new line of hooking I mean. So now oh. that I have that, and I've sanded it a little bit. And now I'm just going to soak oh I also I glued in these these. Uh you can't glue in the connections yet, but yeah, that, those have to be last after the clear coat and all. But right now I just need to soak this piece of wood in super glue. So I'm gonna do that. Look, it needs to be really soaked. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then we can paint it pretty much. Oh, I have to do some sanding and stuff, but I wanna test it, but everything's frozen. I might be able to try it in the bathtub, but I've tried other swim baits that I know work, they just don't work well in the bathtub, so I don't know. But I'll try to figure something out because I do want to show you how this one works when I'm done. Okay, that super glue dried and it is sanded. I sanded it, I mean. And uh, I'm going to paint this a bass, a bass pattern, largemouth. And uh, you always start with white. I'm only going to show you the painting of this piece because it's going to be the same for this. So, yeah, let's get started. Next up is White. brown. And you might be thinking, brown, why would you be putting brown on a bass? And, uh, I've done one bass paint scheme before for YouTube, and it was this little thing. Uh, I didn't really... Yeah, this is not acceptable, so... This is just green with black, but no, I, I've gotten better at my bass painting, so yes, I need to put brown on it. it. Not much, just on the flank, silver flank. Okay, something like that. Okay, okay, now it's time for the green, and uh, I can go pretty heavy with it. I'm just trying to get this kind of muddy green color-ish thing. So, yeah, spraying that now. Okay, now I'm doing some gold scales near the top, and then I'll do silver near the bottom. Here we go. I'm going to use my thumb to cover this gill. Just like okay, that. now I'm spraying silver uh, on the belly. Like that. Time for the reveal. Hope it came out well. Wow. That's pretty cool. I think once I get the black on the back and the dots, it should look really cool. Something happened there, I don't know what, but call that a success. Pretty cool. Now I'm doing a black back. I don't want 
two black. Also, that might just be right. Here I go freehanding this black detail, which is really risky. Down the back of the well, that, 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 if you've ever seen a bass before, you will maybe know that uh, they have this. Their gill plates are really, really just. I don't know. They're like metallic looking almost. So I'm just going to hand brush some white perlet pearlized white paint right onto this gill plate and up here some too so I'm gonna do that alright so that is how it came out. I skipped the epoxying and put it gluing the eyeball on because that's pretty self-explanatory. And I think now I'm going to try to get some footage of its action. Now I have to warn you, it takes a second to get going. But once it does, it has a nice S pattern. So, focus. But I mean, you can see it. It, it moves kind of how it's supposed to and on bigger casts I've tested it 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 works fine just I don't know I wish it worked a little bit better but I think that's all right so yeah well that's what I got for today it's not the best and uh it didn't work as well as I would have hoped but I mean it looks cool and it did work I just it was hard to catch on camera but uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned.